press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Skoda has recently launched a new variant of the Kodiak in India. Called as the Scout, it comes with several visual updates which are aimed at giving this SUV a rugged appearance. We are in the Pinch Tiger Reserve, test drive this vehicle and in this video I am going to be answering 5 key questions related to the Skoda Kodiak Scout and what makes it different from the rest of the variant. Welcome to Express Drives. First, let's talk about the exteriors. Are they any different from the rest of the variants? Well, not really. The Skoda Kodiak Scout comes exactly the same design as the Style and the LNK variants. Yes, there are a few bits which makes it different from these trims. For instance, it comes with skid plates on the front as well as the rear bumper. In addition to this, there is Scout badging on both the front fenders. Also, the Scout comes with 18-inch dual-tone alloy wheels. Further, the ORVMs have been given a silver finish. Another important change that the Scout comes with is the Skoda lettering on the bootlet which replaces the Skoda logo which is in sync with the brand's new design language. Because of the added bits on the front and the rear bumper, the overall length of the Scout has been increased by 8mm. The ground clearance however remains the same. What are the major changes that you see inside the cabin? The layout of all the panels inside the cabin remains the same as before. However, the dashboard instead of the beige color scheme now gets an all black treatment. Similarly, the seats are now wrapped in black Alcantara leather. There is scout badging on the panel in front of the passenger as well as on the seat backrests of the front as well as the rear seats. All that said, the scout does miss out on some of the features which are available on the top spec LNK variants. For instance, it does not get the fully digital virtual cockpit instrument cluster. Also, it misses out on the 360 degree surround view camera. Apart from this, the Skoda Kodiak Scout gets all the bells and whistles. The feature list includes 12-way adjustable driver and passenger seat, 3-zone automatic climate control, an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a 10-speaker Canton sound system, cruise control, hands-free park assist and the lot. What about the engine and transmission options? Are they any different? Well, no. The Skoda Kodiak Scout comes with the same 2-litre TDI 4-cylinder diesel engine. This engine is capable of churning out 150 HP of power along with 340 Nm of peak torque. This engine continues to be paired with a 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox. There is a little bit of turbo lag between 1400 RPM but once past this threshold, the SUV picks up pace effortlessly. The 7-speed DSG gearbox offers slick shifts and it is quick to respond. Skoda hasn't changed the suspension setup on the Scout and hence it continues to behave the same as before. At lower speeds, smaller bumps are felt inside the cabin. However, at higher speeds, nothing is allowed to filter inside the cabin. The electronically assisted power steering is not exactly sporty, but at lower speed is light enough to maneuver this SUV around. However, at higher speed, it weighs up nicely and offers good feedback. Apart from the Eco, Sport, Individual and Snow mode, Skoda has given the Scout an additional off-road mode. It is activated below the speeds of 30 km per hour and changes the characteristics of the engine, transmission, climate control and other electronic systems available. Once activated, it shows a compass, the direction in which your wheels are pointing, engine temperature as well as the dial for altimeter on the infotainment system. The Skoda Kodiak comes with an all-wheel drive system as standard and the same has been carried forward to the Scout as well. The ground clearance hasn't been changed. We did some mild off-roading in this car and the car never really bottomed out. The addition of the new off-road mode really helped the cause. In addition to this, the hill descent control was really helpful and was very intuitive. What about the prices? Well, the Skoda Kodiak Scout is priced at Rs 33.99 lakh. On the other hand, the style variant costs Rs 35.36 lakh, while the LNK trim will set you back by Rs 36.78 lakh ek showroom. This brings me to the final question. Should you really buy one? Well, the Skoda Kodiak Scout is priced a lakh cheaper than the style and the LNK trims. Yes, it does miss out on some of the features such as the 360 degree surround view camera and the virtual cockpit instrument cluster. However, it still stands as a decently equipped car in segment. 
With additional off-road bits such as the skid plates and the new dual tone alloy wheels, it also manages to look unique. So if you are looking for a premium SUV which is comfortable to ride, is decently equipped and can do some off-roading, you should definitely consider the Skoda Kodiak Scout. That's it from our side. Hope you like this video and if you have any other questions regarding this car, do let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, see you.